In this tutorial, we will be looking at the relationship between Works Manager and Trimble Business Center. First, we will be creating a project in the Works Manager Cloud software. Then, we shall export the data from TBC to be uploaded to Works Manager. In Works Manager Projects, create a new project. Name your project. Configuration files can be added here or edited later in both Works Manager or Trimble Business Center. We'll add an FXL for now. Enter in the address for the project site and maps will navigate to this point. Create points for your project boundary. Click Close Boundary to connect start and end points. Finish to create the project. Your project will appear in the Active Projects list. Open the project. Navigate to Settings. Here you will find the configuration files where you can add, edit, download or delete existing files. In TBC, navigate to the Construction Data tab and click on Works Manager Project. As we are working online, select your account and select the project you just created. Each issue that appears will need to be resolved so that Business Center and Works Manager will match. We will use the boundary from Works Manager. Site calibration, units, control points and avoidance zone will come from Business Center. Ensure that you select the relevant points and strings by layer or graphically for your control points and avoidance zones. If we go back to Works Manager and refresh, we will see the changes that we have made reflected in the configuration files. In Business Center, in the Construction Data tab, navigate to Create Works Manager Design. Name your design. Select your model. For the purposes of this project, we'll be using the standard surface. Here you can add your setout points and design map. Hit publish to load this design to your Works Manager project. If we go back to Works Manager and navigate to the Design tab, we will see the design we've just created. 